everyone, how's it going? My name is Harmony Nice and today I will be continuing my series called Enchanted Endeavours and this episode will be all about Yule. Just in case you guys aren't actually aware on what my Enchanted Endeavours episodes are all about, they are about the Wicca faith, the deities, things you can use in Wicca, basically every single thing about Wicca and I'm just slowly working my way through it. So if you guys haven't seen my previous Enchanted Endeavours episodes, I will link them in the description down below so you guys can watch all of them. My last episode was about about tarot cards and the basics on how to use them so if you guys are interested in that and haven't actually watched it then you should definitely check it out because you should. So I filmed a video all about the Wiccan holidays yesterday, better known as the Sabbaths, and it was just way too long-winded, like it was like a 30 minute video, and I thought it's just gonna be so boring if you have to sit through like 30 minutes of footage to learn about them. So I thought I'd do individual videos about the Wiccan Sabbaths as I kind of come along, just so I can go into greater depth through each Sabbath. Just in case you guys aren't actually aware on what the Sabbaths are, they are the holidays and festivities that Wiccans and some witches follow. So today I will be filming a video all about Yule and Scenes extremely relevant since it is currently Yule while I'm filming this. Today I will be discussing when Yule is for people in the Northern and the Southern Hemisphere, why we celebrate Yule, bells, symbols, gods and crystals relevant to Yule, and also how I and other Wiccans can celebrate it as well. So if you aren't in the festive mood already, I hope you are, but if you're not, I really hope this video helps you get in a festive mood. Please remember that every single Wiccan celebrates their holidays differently. This is just my point of view and how I celebrate the holidays and also what I've learned about the holidays over the last couple of years. So this is what I've learned about Yule and how I celebrate it because everybody does celebrate the holidays differently and again that's totally okay. So with that being said I really really hope you guys enjoy this video and I really hope it helps you to learn about Yule and what it is and I hope it also gets you in a really really festive mood because it should. So firstly, when is Yule? Like I said, I'm actually filming this on the last day of Yule, so you can actually celebrate Yule from the 20th to the 23rd of December, and it is supposed to be celebrated really on the shortest day and the longest night of the year. But I personally actually think it's acceptable to celebrate Yule on any of these days. I personally celebrate Yule on the 23rd of December usually, just to kind of carry it on a little bit to join in with my family's festivities as well. Just in case you guys were actually wondering if it's different in the southern hemisphere to the northern hemisphere and when you celebrate Yule it is actually different. When you're supposed to celebrate Yule you actually are supposed to celebrate summer solstice from the 20th to the 23rd of December due to seasonal differences and you're actually supposed to celebrate Yule on the 20th to the 23rd of June. So just in case you any guys were asking me that that is when you celebrate Yule if you're in the southern hemisphere. I know a lot of Wiccans tend to actually stick to the holiday dates no matter where they are in the world but a lot of people have informed me that if you're in the southern hemisphere you do actually celebrate them on different dates but again I'm not in the southern hemisphere so I can't be 100% sure whether this is correct. So what actually is Yule and why do us Wiccans celebrate it? So Yule which is actually also known as winter solstice which actually a lot of people do refer to it as, Yule is actually supposed to be a celebration for the retiring of light. It is supposed to be a celebration so we know that there is longer and warmer days coming since it is the shortest day and the longest night of year. It is a time when things get renewed and it's to kind of recover from the past year and everything that's happened and to see longer and brighter days coming with new hope. Traditional pagans around this time celebrated the rebirth of the Oak King, the Sun King and the Giver of Light and they were all celebrated because they were kind of known as the warmers that kind of warmed up the cold earth if you get what I mean. That sounded really way more complicated than it actually is but yeah. So how do Wiccans and how do I celebrate Yule? So surprisingly or maybe not so surprisingly to some of you guys Yule's ha Yule actually has a lot of similar aspects to Christmas. This is an amazing time to kind of start planning for the future and the new year. So this is the kind of time where I start to write my yearly goals for the next year to come and I for me personally I write down in a notebook all of my yearly goals. I set like a month or a goal date to complete these yearly goals. For my altar and for your altar around this sort of time, there are certain kind of incense, crystals, spells that I do around the Yule time. There, and there are lots of crystals that you can carry around with you and meditate with you that kind of increase your happiness and create hope for the future year that is coming. At the minute, I am carrying a bloodstone around with me and I use these a lot to meditate with around this time. Another one that I use as well is a clear quartz because all of these crystals are very good for increasing happiness 
and hope and also really creating a very well and healing positive energy for the new year. Other good crystals are like emeralds and garnets as well that you can also carry around with you at the time. They are very, very strong, good ones. I personally don't actually own any of them. Also in my altar, I tend to burn certain spanning incenses, like I said. So I tend to burn cinnamon and cedarwood or like pine or like tree smelling scents because it kind of represents the warmth that is coming. But I have like more than anything been obsessed with cinnamon incense at the minute. Like it smells so good. It just smells like freshly baked cookies like in your room all the time. So definitely recommend that one. This year I've also decorated my altar with mistletoe as well. If you guys didn't know, mistletoe is actually a pagan tradition. And I also have collected some pine cones and I've decorated my altar with that as well. But you can also use stuff like ivy as well or yule log. And I've also been placing old bits of pine in my cauldron and burning them down for good luck within the new year. I tend to be doing that a lot recently is bringing old pine into my home because around the yule time it is amazing for protecting protection and using them for protection spells. Traditional pagans would bring live pine trees into their home and hang food on them for the wandering spirits that didn't have anywhere to go around Yule and they would have somewhere warm and have food to kind of be around and near around that time and I think that's really really interesting. I think it's also a lovely idea. Also around this time I definitely think it's a good idea and I personally do as well to eat like a lot of spicy food around this time. So I do tend to eat a lot of like really really spicy vegetable curries, uh, cinnamon and ginger tea. I made some spicy vegan mince pies the other day. Apple cider or any spicy kind of flavoursome baked goods or cakes around this time as well. Also what I did this year is I actually baked a buttermilk bread which you can easily make vegan by the way and I put a yule charm on it and then you can also do other yuletide charms and you can put yule charms on any other baked goods as well. There's lots of good recipes online that kind of go with these specific baked goods and as for like activities around yule there is actually lots of things that you can do. If you guys weren't actually aware Christmas was actually originally a pagan holiday so if you see a lot of relations to do with these this is why. So this year I've actually had loads and loads of fun creating evergreen wreaths to go on my door and also bringing bits of old yule and old pine into your house if you can find any and also having pine trees as well in your house is a tradition. In all honesty my days seem to have consisted with eating and doing some yule related spells like I said for peace and happiness within the new year. Usually around this time as well you tend to have a big meal with either your family or your coven members or your witch friends or whoever you'd like to share it with and you have a big meal I kind of just have a evening of that as well. I actually this year went out with my friend Marina and we had some food and it was really really nice because she is actually a witch as well and I will have be having obviously a meal with my family in a few days time which I kind of tie into yule anyway. This is definitely a good time to do peace spells and increased happiness spells to honour the gods and goddesses surrounding Yule. Also as Christmas is as well, giving gifts is a tradition. But as for how I've kind of spent this year, I have been crazy crazy busy with work but I've still made time to celebrate Yule as much as I can. Like I said I have been decorating my altar with Yule themed things. I'm not going to show you again because I've decided I will be doing a video all about my altar. I have been doing Yuletide related spells, like I said I bake some vegan buttermilk bread which sounds really contradictory but it does work extremely well I found it really really effective I've been doing a lot a lot of peace spells and meditation with my crystals and I'm just really trying to calm the air before the new year because this has been like a hella large year for me and I've done a lot this year and a lot has happened so I've kind of been taking strolls and just kind of enjoying the cold while it's here you have to remember that Yule is an awesome time and you have to enjoy it there's lots and lots of joyous things you can do as a Wiccan to do with Yule, like cast some really positive spells and follow some more Yuletide traditions. But definitely the thing that I've done that's most worth doing this year, I'm gonna say is burning the bits of pine in my cauldron. Also baking the Yule buttermilk bread because that I feel like was so crazy effective. So if you guys haven't actually done that before, you definitely, definitely, definitely should put some Yule charms on some baked goods. I feel like as a Wiccan, following the Sabbaths and celebrating the Sabbaths is extremely important and I definitely think you need to do it because it kind of keeps yourself 
yourself as a Wiccan in balance for the year. So I definitely think if you are trying to be a Wiccan, you need to celebrate the holidays and kind of learn more about the holidays and things you can do in them. So I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you as much as it possibly could. I know it's kind of brief, but I thought I'd just kind of share with you my experience of Yule and the things that I sort of do around the Yule time. So if you guys are really interested in these holiday videos, I would really love to do a holiday video every single time that a Sabbath comes up. So if you guys would be interested in them, please let me know down below. It's so crazy. Like, I'm probably only gonna have one more video up for this year and that'll be it. Like this one and then one more and that'll be my videos for the year. And then it's 2017, like what the fuck? What the fuck? You're having an amazing time, whatever you celebrate and I will see you very, very soon. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye guys.